So here we are at uh, Radio Harley Poe with Jason Anderson. Have you got me slim side on there, Michael? Hold on, turn round. On. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that there we go? I'm only getting the top bit on, so you can see. So yeah, I'm here to do a little interview, and uh, here it is. Yeah. How good is that? Good morning. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, And uh, if you watch some of these videos as well, you'll see uh, what we're doing today uh, behind the scenes as well. He'll do that, won't he, Michael? I will indeed. That will be on the Silver Fox Dust Stuff channel on YouTube. How good is that? Michael Gantz, uh, my mate and photographer. Now, we met a long, long time ago. I think it was, um, <clears throat> it was around, uh, let me see, around about probably 2002. Uh, Michael and uh, back then I remember you, you were into photography you used to have um, which you've got now absolutely onwards and upwards uh, a photography business you used to have a shop back then but they, they saw so, so much outdated now aren't they in your game shops yeah well it was a shop and a studio and I used to sell it was sort of a gallery as well yeah, so yeah. I used to sell pictures of Hartlepool there yeah. and it was all great it went great for a few years yeah. but then the uh, the banks closed down in yeah. Northgate a few of the shops went yeah and the footfall just disappeared yeah. so I ended up moving just I think, working I, from I, home I think choices like that um, make sure that um, you know you know you adapt don't you and you learn from from the past so all it's positive isn't it Michael yeah, everything's great at the good, moment, can be bad. Now, uh, is it, am I right in saying you're a privateer, a freelance photographer, as it's known, in and around Harlepool as well? That's exactly right. Freelance, so I'll do anything from, uh, well, I've packed in doing the weddings due to medical reasons, but yep. the, uh, anything that's not more than three or four hours long, like yeah. christenings or bar mitzvahs, anything you can think of, I will, I will cover. Anything you want to pay me for. Uh, uh, will, will you heard it, but he yeah, brings his camera correct. along with him as well, so I just might as well uh, drop that bit in as well, <laughs> yeah, and over there. You were at a time on the, because uh, you could, could mention this very, very quickly, to show your, because um, you are very much a community ambassador, uh, your photograph, uh, t uh, each photograph tells a, a thousand uh, a thousand words, as they say, and I got that out of a, a saying in a, in a book about photography and what have you. And, oh, one thing I want to tell you, Michael, now this is the absolute truth, when I go on to the internet because you're a friend of mine on there and I, I comment on a lot of bits and pieces meta obviously picks this up facebook obviously picks this up and every time i type the word photo in i'm going to say that's a great photo to a friend your name pops up well it's really great to know, you know that uh, hopefully you know the people see that and i get yeah. a bit more business you know when people turn around and mention anything to do with radio my name doesn't pop up <laughs> sure uh, so you, <laughs> you you do well with that as well your photography that you do in and around uh, in and around the town is uh, you, you, you've adapted now, haven't you? You've got all these different gadgets because I remember seeing you at the uh, the movie premiere through there at uh, Middlesbrough or uh, back end of Stockton there in Middlesbrough at uh, a movie premiere which uh, the movie was filmed here in Harlem. Oh, that was Jackdaw. Yeah, it was, yeah. and I seen you there, and um, you had all sorts of gadgets sticking out your back pocket. You had this <laughs> right. uh, lengthy like antenna thing with uh, like an arrow thing sticking out your back pocket, and on the top of it was this little camera yeah. now what I did after that uh, I went to uh, to your um, page you're on YouTube and I had a look and the events on there bits and pieces uh, from the events actually on there that's a cracking camera tell us a little bit about the cameras you use well that, that one is uh, it's called an insta 360 camera so it's a video mm. camera but you can do stills on it as well mm. Mm. Uh, so that basically records everything 360 around you 360 degrees up and down back to front left and right so you don't actually have to focus the camera on what you're recording. And this is what I've noticed about you, you never miss a trick or never miss a shot. Because uh, we're taking that along to you, you've got your big camera with your lens and everything like that, like expect a photographer to see one of these paparazzi uh, to see when you're doing, uh, doing events like that. But you've got uh, the backup of other cameras, like I say, they're looking around That's and right. watching you, watching them. That's exactly right. That's quite something. Like uh, today, uh, this uh, this interview or chat segment, as we like to call it, is being uh, videoed. And where will the video be from this? So people can go um, not just to the Radio Hartlepool uh, website and and have a listen to what went on. We might even post it on there as well on our Facebook. But where uh, can they go to look at your videos, Michael? Well, I've got two channels on YouTube. So there's the one I've mentioned already, the Silver Fox stuff that yep. is the f the silver fox does stuff so yeah. basically i get called the silver fox obviously yep. because of me hair is that is uh, that why <laughs> <laughs> could you guess and uh and i do stuff so it's 
it was I, did, I didn't want it to be all about yeah. one particular subject so it yeah. was just about me doing whatever I like doing it's ended up being a lot of stuff about Hartlepool yeah. obviously I live in Hartlepool I'm a press photographer yeah. so I cover a lot of events so you do. it's uh, it's worthwhile me Every filming event. all these events and uh, you know people can get on there and they can view them they can buy me a coffee if they like there's you a link can on there I'm sure it is <laughs> I'll buy you a coffee all right so uh, we're going to be talking more about Michael uh, Gant to Michael Gant who's a uh, like I say I, I say a privateer for uh, photographer but he's a freelance uh, photographer after this we're back, it's uh, 102.4 Radio Hartlepool, I'm Jason Anderson, this is uh, The Breakfast Show, and this morning my mate, uh, photographer, freelance photographer, you need these services, you know how to get in touch, um, uh, from Hartlepool, very, very experienced guy, Michael Gant, welcome along to Radio Hartlepool, tell us Michael. Good morning. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> uh, that, that was, uh, I never preempted you or anything like that, but uh, what I will say is, uh, do you remember a video you posted in the early days of, um, of your introduction to YouTube, which was uh, uh, an incredible um, feat actually, an incredible thing that I'd never seen before, and the first, I, I, I wasn't uh, present down there at the marina at the time this actually uh, happened, but you caught it on uh, video, it was when the dock iced over, do you remember that? I don't remember it, and I've seen it a few times actually yeah. over the years, but it doesn't happen. I I very often. I've seen your videos. Well, I'm you know. surprised that the sea freezes over. Obviously, mm. it's very salty and the sea mm. doesn't freeze over. Yeah. But it, maybe it's the dock has more fresh water in it. Yeah. Maybe it retains the uh, the rainwater mm. that stays on top of the freezes top over. Like that, it was yeah. very, very cool, to be fair. We're getting all sciencey now, aren't we? East but, from the east. Listen, uh, Michael, can I ask a question here? You've got a personal life, you've got a family and everything. I know you go out for days out with them. Uh, do you always take your cameras with you? I always have my phone with me. Yeah, good, good point. And the good phone point. is uh, the phone I've got at the moment is that good? Mm. It's almost replacing my big DSLR camera. It's rather than give them a ra rather than give them a plug and everything like that, you can tell me about that off air, right? You can catch this on uh, uh, the video that is going to be posted on YouTube. What's your YouTube page again, uh, Michael? My YouTube is called the Silver Fox Does Stuff, but there is another channel as well. Yeah, I go have. on. <laughs> which is called Foxy's Travels. There we go. And that's completely different. That one's all about a, a motorhome that I've been doing up. Seen it. Uh, which is called Foxy, yep. of course. And uh, so it's been basically about... Have you got to finish yet? Because this is a long time that channel's been it's going. It's ongoing, it's yeah. ongoing. There's always something you can do. <laughs> <laughs> and there's always something that replaces It's only a year gone February. Come you know, on, give me a break. I've, I've, I've got to get off and do something else uh, you, all the time. You know what I mean? That's uh, well, you do. I mean, a busy uh, we, man. We started going away in it as soon as it was sort of not even half ready. Yeah. Just good enough to have a bed in and a toilet, basically. So now, you know, now it's just building it up. It's almost finished. There's still the odd mm. things to do, but... I need to have something to video, don't I? You do, you do. Now, listen, Michael, this is uh, when I was looking up about you, I put your name into, um, into obviously, Facebook and a few other of uh, the different uh, Facebook pages that are out there, because I think Facebook is marvellous uh, for positivity. And um, up pop popped a poster. Now, this was... Uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't think you know what I'm going to gonna say now. Up pop pop popped a poster. Now, it was you as a musician. And mm. um, I thought, no, this can't be right. I, I've only known this guy as a photographer and uh, not one time can I remember that I've probably karaoke or something like that, I've probably seen you on that, but not one time that I can remember that you've told me that you were an artist and uh, you used to uh, uh, go out and gig for money, for cash. That's indeed I did. That's how T I tell us a bit mortgage. about that. Well, it started after uh, we used to have a bed factory, which is another story. Mm. That closed down and mm. I was... Uh, I got, <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, all right. That's no good being a singer. All right. <laughs> That's your singing voice, isn't yeah. it, uh, coming out of you? So I, I had to find a way to earn some money, basically. So, you know, we used to go to the clubs and uh, watch the, the bands and the singers. And I said to myself, I used to sing when I was when I was younger. Mm. We had a teenage band, mm. you know, in the uh, early twenties and such. And I thought, if I can't sing as good as what they're singing, mm. you know, and I'm sure I can. Mm. So. I did. I got myself some uh, backing tracks together and I learnt the songs. And, was it uh, all these things like on the foot pedal where you had to push the foot pedal for the backing track to come on or was it a case that you used to have to press a button or something? Uh, just both. Yeah. I used to do both. Yeah. You usually have a foot pedal that brings in the reverb on your voice yeah. as well so you do that but yeah normally we used to use mini disc players back in the yeah, day. Yeah I remember. And, and God we did when you know, we started. I, I, I still see people using them because yeah. they were a really good system. You, We've got one. Yeah. Well, Unbelievable go. isn't it? 
Is it yeah. an antique? Is, yeah. Has Arthur Negus seen that? Yeah, we could listen to um, <laughs> Michael T on there. Absolutely brilliant. How good is that? What was your stage name? What was it, Michael Gant? Uh, I went out as Mickey Gant. Yeah. Uh, and I often used a, like a stage name of uh, David Beck. Dave, yeah. Dave Beck, it was. That I went out as him a few times. Yeah, absolutely yeah. unbelievable. What sort of um, what sort of uh, strength did you have? What sort of artists did you have strength from? Well, doing the clubs, you had to have a very wide repertoire mm. of songs. So uh, it was anywhere from the fifties, Elvis, yeah. you know, stuff, rock and roll stuff, right up to uh, the modern day, which at the time was uh, you know the ni late nineties, mm. I guess. So all of being uh, like Bon Jovi, and I used to shop the odd uh, yeah. rock song in there, the odd Deep Purple and free and stuff like that. Do you know, I've got a mate that can do uh, Bon Jovi. He does it every Friday night in the pub I go to. We call him um, By Jovi. <laughs> uh, but anyway, listen, stand by. More from uh, Michael Gant, um, a freelance photographer here in Hartlepool, a well-known character, certainly an ambassador uh, for business and uh, uh, well-being in the community as well. It's Michael Gant after this. Now, are we back with uh, Michael Gant? It is 102.4 Radio Hartlepool. I'm Jason Anderson. This is, of course, uh, the breakfast show. This time of the day when we get guests in, if you want to be a guest, dead, dead simple, drop us an email. It's office at radiohartlepool.co.uk or if you say you're about or something like that, I might just invite you to come on the radio. If you're an interesting chap like I've got this morning, my mate, uh, Michael Gant as well. Now, we've talked about uh, your, uh, you know, hitting the, uh, hit the stages and everything. Very, very talent there. That's one talent I didn't know about or come across uh, this particular a poster um, of you uh, doing that. Yes, I've known your photography for absolutely years. You do get along uh, along to every event that I'm at, uh, whether it's with your family or uh, as an official. And I do know you, and uh, it's obvious why you, you call yourself the, the Silver Fox. Um, something to do with your hair colour and everything like that. Keep that, Michael. It uh, looks good on you. It uh, really, really does your hair, I mean, as, uh, as well, indeed, the colour. Uh, but the other thing is, I often say your uh, photo work, and you're very, very thankful when your photo work uh, does go in the like of uh, the newspapers Harlepool Life CIC is another one that you obviously uh, appear in or your photo work does the man behind the camera tell us a little bit about your affiliation as I know you're freelance but tell us a little bit about your affiliation with that local newspaper well it was a couple of my mates that actually started the business mm. back in what uh, seven years mm. ago I'm mm. guessing it's something like that mm. and uh they needed another photographer to mm. help them out when, when they, their own photographer couldn't mm. do it. So uh, Dirk van der Werf was yeah. one of the uh, starters of the newspaper. So yeah. obviously he was one of the town's top photographers. So you know he used to do it, but if he couldn't do it, then yeah. I would stand in. And uh, I've been there right from the beginning. Getting, I don't know whether now I was you, in the very first edition. You are the kiddie though now, aren't you? Because I see a lot of your photo work. And, and do you know one thing about you, Michael? You're always uh, thankful for getting your photo work in places. I see you thanking them a lot as well, saying, you know, I've got uh, got one in this week or two in this week. I made front page yet again. You know, that's um, it's nice when you can credit people like that, isn't it? Yeah, well, it doesn't hurt to be polite, does it? It doesn't. It does indeed. And it gets you more work as well. well continue, well, Michael, if you would, please. Well, it's, so just over the years, uh, I continued to get, like, the front pages. And then, of course, they started uh, the East Durham Life newspaper. Yeah. And they started the uh, Stockton and Billingham Life newspaper. So... I used to like sort of work from the uh, Stockton area right up towards Seam Way. Yeah. Uh, so that was great fun meeting all the people in the different areas. And do uh, they get to know you now as well? Are they? Oh, oh yeah, 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 definitely. I really enjoyed it. We've yeah. got the Seam Carnival coming up soon, so yeah. I'll be popping up to uh, photograph that and do a video for that as oh, well. Oh, I want to go to that. Uh, yeah, it is. So, and then we've got our carnival as uh, as well. Each and every year, you've uh, you've been. A part of the carnival, whether it's as a freelance photographer, you're yeah, always as a, as, a, as a photographer anyway. Your camera's always uh, with you to tell you the truth. Every time I've seen you there. Do you know, 24 years, uh, Michael, I've been comparing the Hartlepool Carnival since the year 2000. Since the year 2000, did you yeah. know that? Barring one year, which was obviously COVID as well. So really for 24 oh, years, yeah, I, we missed a year. I've Thank been... Do yeah, that I, year doesn't count. Yeah, it, it doesn't. So we say 24 long. years and what have you. And... Um, I, I, did I say you were you around doing your stuff in the year two thousand as well? I wasn't have been around. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember exactly what years, but I used to be on mm. the carnival committee as well. Yeah, I remember for, for quite a few years, yeah. and, and I really enjoyed it. Busy work, wasn't though? I mean, for it a is volunteer, busy. it is busy it is. as hell, and you don't get that much thanks for it either. No. The lads who do that now, and the, the lads on the lasses who do it, oh, uh, they deserve a medal. You, you, know, you they, all do. They, they do a lot for the town. People don't realise the amount of work that they're putting in, fundraising yeah. and uh, putting events on for the kids. 
and attend the events. Christmas and Eid, exactly. They've yeah. got to be there, marshal and uh, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of the stuff was happening on a Saturday, and of mm. course I was doing weddings mm. on Saturdays, and I had to miss a few carnival oh. days as well because of that. So, have it, you got this one in your diary then? Have you got this one free? I'm definitely working this year. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Working as in working for good, good, doing good. pictures for Hartlepool Life. Good, and I'll also be doing a YouTube video as well. Do, do you know um, you're a person which um, there's a few times I've seen you at events and I've took photographs of you taking photographs of others yeah. because I, I think it's very arty that. <laughs> to, no, I, I do. I think it's very arty, and I'm chuffed when I, I when I uh, a photograph of a photographer doing his work. Mm. And if, if you can understand that from a member of the public, like to do that thing, I'm going to see that picture what he's taken. Um, in a newspaper, in the hospital, yeah, in something like that. Then I post my photograph up of Michael Gant taking that photograph on there. So, do you think I've got what it takes to become a photographer? I, I think, think you do. Yeah. They, 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 they <laughs> tell me that the uh, camera adds a few pounds, don't they? Well, <laughs> the pictures I've seen, what you've took of me, I look about uh, no, no. 15 stone, so I think you Michael, must have had a few cameras on me. Michael, you're wearing well that you are indeed. <laughs> Listen, stick around, uh, more from Michael Gant and me after this. Right, so we're back with Michael Aganter, um, a photographer, freelancer, photographer. That is this your bread and butter, then, Michael? It absolutely is. Yeah, yeah. I've so, actually just started making some money from yeah. the YouTube channel. Yeah, but a very small amount. So we need people to go to your YouTube channel because I think it's on clicks and views and everything like that. It, it is, works, isn't it? it? Is, give yeah. us the uh, give us the uh, the addy. See, I'm with it now. Give us the <laughs> addy to your YouTube channel it's again. The Silver Fox does stuff. And Foxy's Travels. And it's quite interesting. They both are quite interesting as well because uh, I've come across them without being pointed in their direction a number of years ago. Typed in Harlepool in the search index and there he pops up uh, with some iced over uh, uh, dock images. And I've been following you ever since uh, like that. I, I know you haven't been to the police about me or anything like that, Michael. Not but I, I, do, I do tend to turn up at a lot of events you're at and vice, uh, vice versa. Yep. We see each other at the, these don't events. Don't forget I've got that 360 camera recording everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> No, I know it is, it is as, as well. But um, I, I, are you known as? Um, is it is it disrespectful or respectful to uh, to call you like paparazzi? Because I'm not being funny here in Hartlepool. If there is any celebs uh, come to town, you're there. Um, I don't know how you get to know about this. I'd like to uh, like to tap into your inner knowledge and what have you. You know, whether it's a, a political uh, people on the scene in Hartlepool, whether it's a, an event, whether it's a rival of somebody around town. You seem to be snapping these. I know celebrities aren't quite uh, probably your bread and butter. There's a lot of other things that come into this. But um, do, do, do you get a, a photograph, the chance to photograph a lot of celebrities there? Well, yeah, you're going to put me on the spot and ask me what I've photographed mm. over the years. Uh, you probably can't remember, Lee, like me. You don't, you forget. You forget about them. Uh, the, one of the ones that sticks out, where it, it wasn't mm. a paparazzi job, I yeah. was invited to go and photograph him, was uh, Paul Michael Glazer from yeah. uh, is it yeah. Glazer or Glazier? Glazer, yeah. I believe. From Starsky and Hutch. Yeah. So I went and photographed him. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it, somebody had brought in his, his famous cardigan. Yeah. Look what he used to wear on Starsky and Hutch. David Saul. Uh, yeah, he's Aye. recently passed away. He, he has. I've met him um, a, a few times. I've met him um, twice in Hartlepool Town Centre. Um, once after my radio show not so long back, he was appearing at Billingham Forum Theatre, and I bumped into him in the, uh, the town centre here. And I was taken back to the 1980s when I was on holiday, and uh, I was privileged uh, from a privileged family and what have you. I was in holiday in the United States, Michael, and uh, we went to a filling station, a gas station, a petrol station over here. And uh, uh, my mum and dad were booking a holiday as part of that holiday to go to Hawaii in the state agents across the road. The state agents, the travel agents across the road. And uh, I walked across and I'm eating some sweets or something like this looking at this garage forecourt. Red Porsche pulls in 924, not the big one, uh, 924 pulls in. And David Soul gets out of it. And he's filling this up with fuel and everything like that. I go up to him and say, can I have a photograph? He said, uh, I'll just go up here for my fuel first. And I come out, I got photographs with him, snaps with him and everything like that. I did on my 110 camera. And, uh, you know, though we never knew about the, the, we never knew about these selfies uh, back then. But uh, I met him out there in the United States. Uh, my idol used to watch him through. Then I met him again at Billingham Forum Theatre. Seen him again at Billingham Forum Theatre. And then seen him not so long back in Hartlepool Town Centre. And I asked him, I said, do you remember pulling into that gas station, that filling station? He said, son, that was uh, such a long time ago. That's when I was famous. 
And I thought, no, oh, you are famous now, David, because, you, you know, bumping into a Middleton Grange shopping centre. What do you think of that story, then? It's absolutely brilliant. Can I tell you another story? <laughs> another story before we go on about uh, uh, you as well. I know it seems like the me, me, me show this morning, but Doris Day, I've met Doris Day. One of my wife's favourites. Honestly, I met her on a doorstep in Beverly Hills at a house, a bungalow-type house it was. And I remember... Um, I was uh, recently died as yes, well. Yes, she has. Uh, God bless you her. You're a bit of a bad omen. I, 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 I know. I, I am indeed. Should I be worried? Uh, no, no, no. You should be uh, You should be <laughs> elated that a friend of yours has met uh, Doris Day because I was a young lad. I think it was about 12 at the time I met her. And uh, my parents uh, said... Go down, we'll video it on this uh, video aid thing, you know, clicking through and what have you. Go down and uh, knock on a door, I dare you. And I did. And I walked uh, the short distance from a uh, from a drive. It wasn't very long, probably about uh, twenty yards uh, to a front door. Pulled on a doorbell. It looked like a uh, it looked like a like a, a toilet chain thing. Pulled on the doorbell. It went bing bong, bing bong, and everything like that. She came to the door. She opened the door, she looked at me up and down, she looked at the top of the drive and she could put, see my parents' video and she said, young man, what can I do for you? And the dogs, two Labradors ran out, one gold, one black, I remember this, ran around sniffing at me and everything, went over to a Jeep, which was a Jeep, a, a two-door a two door Jeep and everything like that. And I said, uh, I, I don't suppose I can have a drink of water? She said, hold on. She left the door open, she walked through, I could see the kitchen out the way, big tap like uh, these microphones are on. She poured me a glass of water from the tap not out of the fridge or anything like that. And she brought that to me and I drank it down and uh, give the glass to her and I said, thank you. She said, have you got your pictures? I said, yeah, <laughs> I have, thank you. And she shut the door. Dogs came in and she shut the door. Met Doris Day. How good is that? That's absolutely brilliant. And you which know. is uh, the total opposite of how uh, Paul Michael Glazier tripped me. Yeah, it, indeed, really. Yeah, yeah, it was oh, very nice. Can we talk about that after this? <laughs> Michael, I'm going to shut up on all this uh, this next uh, uh, segment over to you, really. Now, um, I told you about uh, Doris Day, my, my mate and Doris Day, out in, uh, with Michael Gantz, by the way, uh, a legendary photographer, my mate who was a photographer here in Harleville. See him absolutely everywhere at every event. Uh, known as the Silver Fox, that's because of his hair colouring. You'll see him at an event, uh, especially listen to him this uh, morning on the radio. He's a YouTuber, he's uh, monetised his channel. Uh, Channel, so he wants you to go to that channel as well. Just very quickly, uh, tell us the uh, YouTube channel. There's the Silver Fox Does Stuff, which is mainly about Harley Pool and, and events that I go to. Yep. And there's also Foxy's Travels, which is more about motorhoming. How good is uh, that? Now, I told you about Doris Day and uh, David Soul and what have you. Now, you've got a, um, pretty much a, 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 a bad turn out to, um, to what a celebrity should act, be acting, really, haven't you? Tell us all about it. Well, it, it was Paul Michael Glazer, yeah. and uh, he was visiting a care home in Sunderland, and it was, well, it was at the time when he was doing a pantomime in mm. Sunderland. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what year it was. It's, it's at least 15, maybe years ago, maybe something mm. like that. Maybe it's less. And uh, so he was, he was going around the care home, and I could see he, he wasn't, he, he didn't look very happy. Mm. with what was going on in the care home and uh, where he was getting shown and things like that. And uh, he was with another celebrity as well who was a singer and I cannot remember her name. I'd have to look that one up. Mm. And uh, we were, they were leaving the premises mm -hmm. and of course uh, the, the people were locked in so you needed a code to get out. Aye. And uh, me and him got stuck in like a foyer, so and there was locks on either side of the door, and yeah. nobody knew the numbers. Mm. So it was basically just me and him. I would have been preferred to be with a female singer by the uh, sound of things. I can't remember her name. Yeah. And uh, he just blanked me. He, mm. he wouldn't look at me. He wouldn't talk to me. Uh, so do, do you know? I've never liked him since then. It, to be honest, isn't that absolutely terrible? I mean, you and I, 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 I know whenever we're out in an event. I mean, yeah. C compared to them, but we are well known. I'd, I'd say we're ambassadors for Harlepool, uh, the both of us, and many of I our friends. No, 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 you know, no, you are, Michael, and we we get seen off a lot of people. And I would never speak to anybody disrespectfully, no matter if they came on with an attitude to me. I'd yeah. always try to be the bigger, bigger person out and try to be nice yeah. to them, and you know. Um, like that. I can only think he was upset at what he what he'd been seeing. Yeah. Uh, some of the old people and the situations that were in. Yeah. But 
there, there, was, there was still no need to blank me. No, of course there wasn't. It wasn't my fault. Do, do you know, a lot of people in Hartlepool, when you go to events, must be quite uh, pleased to see you with your big camera in hand and what have you. And do you get dragged off a lot of places saying, oh, come and, come and take a photograph of this, come and take a photograph, especially when they know your work goes in uh, you know, auditions of the uh, local newspaper and that sort of thing. That's right, yeah. There's often people say, come and do this. And uh, I think it was last year, art, or maybe it's the year before, mm. it, the... Is it the Miles for Men mm. race at Seton Carew? Yeah. And there was a, a, a guy who was going to propose to his future wife. So yeah. we recorded that. Oh, well done, man. And, uh, I'm sure I've got a video of that. Mm. Maybe I haven't posted it. Well, we'll have, Maybe a, we'll we'll have, have to check video. it out. Mm, you never know. And uh, this video today, this is going to be going online as well, isn't it? It uh, is. People can find it out actually now um, if they go to uh, what's your uh, what's your ch channel again? The Silver Fox does stuff, and that's on YouTube. All right. If you haven't got YouTube, ask somebody that has, and you can have a look yeah, at today's I mean, show. You, you can watch YouTube a lot on TV now. They all have the apps on all the smart TVs. You can watch it on there. The only trouble with watching it on TV mm. is you can't leave a comment. Yeah, exactly, you can on uh, YouTube as well. You can click, like, and even buy you a coffee, is that right? That's right. How good is that? There's, always a, there's always a link on, buy me a coffee. I'll buy you one of those <laughs> as uh, well, I most certainly will. Uh, would you be up for coming on after the carnival as well, after the carnival's been uh, Carnival Saturday and what have you? Sure, definitely. And we can maybe uh, link it in to, uh, to all the pictures you've put up and taken and what have you, and uh, some of the photographs that will be in the newspapers at the current time, as uh, well, including the Hartlepool Life and other editions as well. Have you ever heard anything go in the... Um, Go in the Heartbeat magazine, you know the council magazine? The Heartbeat. I think they have used I'm some sure of the pictures yeah. over the yeah. years. It's, sometimes it's hard to tell because people I'm take sure I've seen pictures credit. of iconic buildings yeah. in the town and such. There's a lot of people get pretty similar pictures, so sometimes it's hard to oh, tell. Oh, can I just ask you one quick uh, thing as well? Quick, Do you know, if I was to nigger, nigger one of your photographs and what have you, you would expect me to, and because and I, I'm in the business, yeah. Um, you would expect me to credit that photograph and say Michael Gant took this, which uh, which I, I do, you know, uh, at least the first time I posted yeah. uh, from a friend or uh, with permission of or Michael Grant, Gant took this, which is a brilliant photograph, and it is, by the way. I love a lot of the photographs uh, that you got of me, not because I love myself. You've just caught everything just right, and uh, uh, the photographs turned out better than uh, the original time it was uh, taken. If you understand that, yeah. um, do, do you ask? Uh, all that you ask is uh, people credit. Yeah, but I know it's a business at the end of the day. So how how it do you approach that? It all depends on what it's being used for. If it's going to be used for uh, like a commercial business or something mm -hmm. like that, I expect to be paid. Of course, because they're course. using it. To, to and you obviously to get paid themselves. People can use your photo work like that. And what do they need to do? Just get in touch with you? Just get in touch with me and we, we sort something out. There's nothing about asking the question. Um, and, and hope when I pinch your photographs on there, I hope a credit's been enough, uh, Michael, especially the photographs of me and, and what have you. Well, normally, if I've put something on Facebook, then it, it's there to be shared. Yeah. So if you've just shared a photo, then it's obvious it's come from me. Yeah. If somebody is... Have sort of copied the picture, then yeah. posted it as the, as their own picture. That's wrong. I think that's well out of order. Yeah, it should and be credited. It happens a lot, you know. And and that if you credit it, gives you the option of getting in touch with you and say, you know, that's one of my commercial photographs, really, and that's me bread and butter. So you know, yeah. Anyway, it listen, me work. Michael Gant, uh, <laughs> you will appear next on the radio. All right, you can see his uh, good face on his uh, YouTube channel as well and at radioheartlepill.co.uk and no doubt on my personal Facebook page as well. Michael Gant, uh, town photographer, uh, town ambassador, where photography is concerned and doing good things uh, for others. Absolutely brilliant having you on this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you.